you know, the transfer of the 28 MiG 29s that are now in Poland to Ukraine should have been a no brainer. Uh, and it should have happened without all the fanfare that's going on in the media. Uh, and it should have been done quietly. You have Ukrainian pilots take the train to Poland, fly the jets back to Ukraine, paint over the fin flashes from Poland, and get them into the fight. No one, no one's going to know or could tell where those airplanes came from. This isn't rocket science. So, uh, and, and I would tell you, there's still the option uh, uh, to do that, an option that is still available. It parallels how the U.S. Um, you know, you and the audience may have forgotten, but in uh, the run-up to World War II, uh, the U.S. had a neutral stance. Uh, and uh, due to the neutrality clause, uh, the U.S. refused to directly deliver armaments to Britain. Well, Winston Churchill called President Roosevelt, and he begged for the delivery of the aircraft. Um, the U.S. obliged, but informed Britain that it wasn't possible to fly the aircraft directly uh, to Canada. So the U.S. moved aircraft to the U.S.-Canadian border, and Britain took delivery of them by pulling them into Canada by horses and trucks. So the Poles could fly their MiG-29s to roads next to Ukraine, and the Ukrainians could then tow them over the border. Uh, you, you follow me? And, uh, and, and so let's move out here. Uh, some of these folks need to be stopped, uh, stopped being deterred by Putin. Uh, because, you know, if we transfer a pocket knife, he's going to object. And a weapon system is a weapon system. Uh, NATO's given Ukraine rifles and missiles, so it's time to give them the aircraft that can immediately be put to use as well.